I'm Steve Ducey, and here's your Fox Flash financial expert, Charles Gasparino. Charlie, to us, weighed in on what we can expect from the stock market in the near future. Ben Bernanke is going to probably be replaced by Janet Yellen, who's very much a dove into printing money. I think they will not allow the Obama economy to rest on its own. They will keep printing money to keep this kind of feeble recovery. Mm -hmm. And if you and if you stop printing money, then guess what happens? All the impact of Obamacare, higher taxes, all the regulations that this president has right. imposed on this economy, that co those chickens come home to roost. Sure. And we're gonna and, and forget about the three percent growth. We're gonna have one percent growth if we're lucky. And, and we probably have the three percent growth because of this printing of the money. Right. Just I know you don't think it's gonna happen anytime soon. But if it did happen, let's say next month, what would happen? If he stopped printing money next month, the market would go down to 12000 Now, I've been on this show, and I told you, if he keeps printing money, It'll go I, think that, I think it's, you, there's no stopping it. So, you know, here's the thing. Can you say 20000 If he keeps printing, we Dow 20000 in the next couple of years is very feasible. But, but that's an if. And, you know, it won't be him. It'll be Janet Yellen. But I will say this. Um, I don't think they're going to stop. Now, this is my opinion. And if they don't stop... You buy stocks, and here's why. Because, you know, there's other investments that are not going to be, you're not going to get the bang for the buck, the return. Yeah. So money will keep going into stocks. But that's an if. Right. It's that's Charlie, that's my bet. That's his bet. Dow is expected to have another crazy day up and down once again today. Meanwhile, a truly heartwarming story. A little boy who was born deaf, given the gift of sound thanks to a new technology. Watch as this boy hears his father's voice for the very first time. And he loves you. Daddy <laughs> loves you. Daddy. Yes, here. Can you imagine? Three-year-old and his family incredibly grateful for the doctors at the University of North Carolina where they implanted a microchip inside his brain. And now, for the first time in his life, he can hear. It's great. And that's your Fox Flash for today. I'm Steve Ducey. See you back here Friday for Kip Moore and the big summer concert series.